uh, hi everyone in this tutorial I will talk about the synthetic call option so uh, we will use the call put parity which I have explained in the previous tutorial so uh, if I write down the call put uh, parity is equal to, uh, so it's look like this so call minus put is equal to s minus k and then we have to do the dividend we'll subtract dividend from the stock price and interest from the k so uh, for those of you who don't uh, know this i can give you a small uh, brief introduction uh, to it so the basic concept is that uh, we know that in the call option you get money when the stock price increases and uh, in, in the put option you get money when the stock price decreases right so if you combine both of them together and you buy call buy call and uh, sell put so you can see that this is what your uh, chart will look like so your stock price and this is your so now uh, so that means that if you buy call and sell put that is equivalent to buying a stock but you don't get the dividend on it so that's why I subtracted a dividend here and then you're delaying the payment of K for later so that's why I have to pay interest rate on it so this is your call put parity so now suppose you want to create a synthetic call so in that case all you have to do is rearrange this function and say c is equal to p plus s e raised to minus gamma t minus k e raised to minus r t where gamma is a dividend uh, rate and r is the interest rate now um, so what does it mean so that means that uh, if you buy a put so buy and uh, buy a stock and then you sell or so sell the money so how do you sell them so you uh, put it on the uh, you borrow the money so say say okay so borrow then in this case that will be equal to your uh, synthetic call so what does it mean so let me talk to you uh, in a very very uh, uh, basic way like suppose you don't have any background uh, in this area so in this case let's take an example so uh, so you know that this is your call option right so this is your call option and if you buy so you have to mimic this function so what you have to do is you buy a stock your stock will look like this this is your stock and then if you buy a put on this so you know that this is your put so if you combine both of them together then so so if you combine this one and this one together then you will get so this gain will be deducted by this loss so you will get something like call however because uh, in this case you have to take account of the dividend and also the money which you are delaying or making the payment later so in that case you have to borrow the money because uh, you have to pay the interest on this call option so this is how you create a call option so this is what is called the synthetic call option so i hope this tutorial will uh, help and uh, we'll see you later then